Stop, don't hit, just freeze. Uh, please uh, focus on the hands. Ready? Okay, re ready, hit. Yeah, ready, go. Yeah, yeah, like that. Ready, one more. Ready, go. Stop. Uh, then stop. Ready? Stop. Don't move. Uh, don't hit it. Just to freeze when I say stop. Go. Stop. Don't Stop. Don't move. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, stay. You didn't grip. So watch. Look. Okay, watch me, Fred. Look. The reason why I focus him, his hands, is when he's about to hit, he didn't grip the racket at all. He stays there like that. Focus my hands. And then, while he's hitting it, he grips it. So he loses control. You should not be like that. You should not be like that. It should be in the middle, reasonably gripped. And then hit, not completely lose, and then hit. Lose grip, and hit. Grip first. Grip, hit. Okay, so keep working on it. Well done, okay. Okay, now, if you're a fresh player, and quite often, if you hit the shuttlecock frame, frame, and missing the shuttlecock when you are hitting, 70, 80% of course for that is not gripping the racket, and then while you are hitting it, you grip. Back and the not grip, and then grip on the way. Look, no grip, and then grip. Look, the reason, not gripped. While I'm gripping, my racket is not within my hands moving same time. So, shuttle is there. If I grip, hit, racket heads moves as I expected. But if I don't grip, my hands go first, and then I grip, racket comes later. That's why I aim here, by eventually hitting the shuttlecock there, because the racket comes late. 70-80% of reason why you may hit the shuttlecock with your racket frame because you didn't grip the racket before you hit it. Instead, you grip the racket as you hit it. That is the big issue.